What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video by Trunk Fresh Green 34. Today we have Mega Hall Volume 3, which I am super excited about. I have a ton of stuff here from a variety of different years. There's 2008 cars, 2009 cars, uh, 2021 stuff, 2023 stuff, um, mini racers, like we got lots here. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm not going to be opening everything in this video like I have in the previous two Mega Hauls because um, some of the stuff I'm actually going to do videos on and I'll be opening them in those videos, but um, I am still going to show them off in the Mega Haul. And yeah, I'm going to try and run through this in the same snappy format that I did in Volume 2. I think that worked really well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right on into it. I'm going to start with the stuff that I'm not opening right now which includes this Cars 2 Mac. So I have to show it like this, because otherwise, if I show the front, it's gonna reveal my face. <laughs> Very reflective packaging. But yeah, I actually found Cars 2 Mac at Walmart, finally. Um, it's been out for like, I wanna say it came out like last November. So it's been like nine months and finally just showed up here in Canada. So I was super excited to get this. Cars 2 Mac's a very rare hauler um, who's only been released once before this, so. It's got, it's got kind of like a fun little history to it that I'll go over in his review. No idea when that's going to be because I have a lot of other stuff that I want to review first, but we do have this awesome Cars 2 Mac hauler. So yeah, very excited. I was able to get this and the Chick Hicks hauler this year, kind of building out the hauler collection, which is fun. Um, continuing on with stuff that I'm not opening just yet, we have the single version of the D100 Lightning McQueen. Um... I don't know if anybody watched it. Um, if you didn't watch it, you should. <laughs> I made a short um, a few months ago um, showing off that I had actually gotten the uh, D100 5-pack and the D100 Fabulous Hudson Hornet. I did a whole short on that. And yeah, I haven't opened them though <laughs> um, because I wanted to wait and get another set to open. I wanted to keep those in the package. Oh, I, actually, I showed them in Mega Hall Volume 1. I totally forgot about that. Um, that's probably where most people would have seen it instead of the short, but... I have talked, shown them on the channel before, and I wanted to wait to open and review them until I could get um, doubles of them. So I did find or get a duplicate of the Lightning McQueen, so I'm going to do a video on that. Very, very excited. Love the packaging. Can't wait to discuss those. And then, continuing on, I have a ton of other 2023 stuff that I'm going to be reviewing. We have Nile Speed Cone. A Salt Flats Racer. Super excited about this one just because he's my he's in my favorite color, which is lime green. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to like this guy, even though it's kind of a silly design. Um, I, I don't know. I think he's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to doing a video on him. He is super thin. Like, this blister is, like, the thinnest and lightest blister that you will ever see in the Cars line. This is crazy. I like his face though, I like, I like the expression. Yeah, can't wait to un unbox him in his review. Another one I'm super excited about is Road Rumbler Mater. Absolutely love how they gave him all these like accessories and stuff and crammed it into a single pack. I think that's awesome. Uh, Road Rumbler McQueen, which I did a video on um, not that long ago, was very well done, very detailed, ended up being a pretty great release in my opinion, so I'm super excited to see how Mater holds up compared to the McQueen. Uh, I think he's going to be great. I am very, very, very excited about this. So yeah, definitely going to be, definitely going to have some fun reviews coming up. Um, speaking of fun reviews, we have May Pillar de Rev from the very, very fun um, Showtime stunt circus this one this one i've had for a little bit now but um i think it showed up i think like i think i talked about this in volume two but i was waiting to get the may pillar de rev because i'd ordered it alongside the rumbler mcqueen uh the bucky brake dust i showed in that video um alongside uh like batoka and ito san all that stuff was supposed to come around the same time but they ended up coming separately <laughs> for whatever reason so may pillar de rev came just after I'd recorded volume two, um, unfortunately, but I'm showing her off here in volume three, so I am super excited about that. Very, very nice. And the last 2023 car for today is 
Mato, Mater's cousin and Mateo's fiance. This is definitely going to be a great one. I can already tell. Love the design and the flowers. Very, very cool. Yeah, lots of lots of cars on the road love today, but don't worry, we have some stuff from the movies coming up pretty soon. Very nice. All right, um, one more thing that I'm not opening, but this is not a 2023 video or review, or not a 2023 diecast, but rather this is the Ultimate Cars gift pack that comes with the Gold Cruisin' McQueen and Metallic Rescue Squad Mater, as well as the Blu-ray of the Cars DVD. So, a very interesting set with a very interesting history. <laughs> so, I'm going to be doing a full Trunk Talk episode on this in the future. I have no idea when that's going to be, but it, I think it's a really special set and it deserves to have its own video. So, yeah, very excited to talk about that and, you know, not showing the front, because again, very reflective packaging, so I'm going to get that off camera quickly, because that is very, very reflective. All right, let's move on to the stuff that I'm actually going to open, starting off with mini racers. So these mini racers are nicely bubble wrapped, and these came to me from Full Wheel Drive 7. So thank you to him. I've reviewed some of his customs on the channel before, and one of these is a custom. And I thought, I tried to speed up this process by taking some of this stuff out of the bubble wrap. But, um, yeah, it's it's still wedged in there. There's one mini. And there's the other one. So first up we have Sidley the Spy Jet. Such an obscure choice for a mini racer, but I absolutely love it. I think fantastic choice there. Very detailed. Love this. <laughs> Such an awesome character to do a mini racer of. And then next we have Silver Cow Weathers. So this is my first silver mini. Uh, don't have any of these. Looks very, very nice. I wish they did um, this in 155 scale like they did with like um, Silver Chick, Silver the King, all the Silver World Grand Prix racers back in 2020 when they had the Silver Collection in the main line. I think it would have been a cool... Uh, opportunity to get a 155 version of this Cal Weathers, but the Mini is pretty awesome as well. Very nice. All right, so we have two more Mini Racers in here, and these ones should come out a little better. Yeah, there we go. So this one, I'm going to save that one for a minute because I think that's the custom. And... There's one more in here. This is a metallic one. This is Metallic Cars 3 McQueen. This is a metallic one that I did not have. I have Metallic Fabulous McQueen, Rusty's McQueen, but not just a regular Cars 3 McQueen. Beautiful mini racer. I always love adding the metallic and silvers and golds to my collection. I like when they do the kind of fun designs. Awesome. Very, very nice. And up next we have this Customs. This looks like, you know, your average Mini Racer World Grand Prix McQueen, but if we flip it around, it actually has the Kachow Francesco sticker on the back. So it's a very simple custom, but it's, it's a cute one nonetheless. Um, I don't think Mattel is ever going to do this as a Mini Racer. Could be wrong, but I personally don't think they will. Very, very cool. I am going to do a video on that in the future, um, that custom. I don't know what format that's going to be in. I think I'm going to try and get like a bunch of custom mini racers and do those in like one big custom mini racer video. I think that's kind of what I'm thinking, but not entirely sure on the specifics of that just yet. I'm going to clear off the space next to me and get ready for the uh, 155 stuff that I'm going to be opening because I have a lot of it here. Um, let's start off with some of these singles. So we have Metallic Jeff Gorvet. Of course, I can't show this one either because it's super reflective. But this was a Toys R Us exclusive. 
from the Cars 2 era. So that is 2011 slash 2012, I think. I don't know when they did the metallic racers. But, yeah. Always love getting more of these. I don't know why they, like, put them in such a massive blister, though. Like, this thing is huge. <laughs> don't know why they did that. And also, they've, like, attached a string in there, too. That's super weird. Why are they going to make this so difficult for me? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. It's hard to like show that process of opening it on camera because it's such a like tight space here. But here he is out of the package and he looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the made in China metallics. I think I've talked about this before. They just look absolutely incredible, especially these yellow ones. I love that finish. Definitely one of my favorite things that we'll be opening today for sure. Um, let's, let's move on to this three pack actually. So we have a three pack here of Dirt Track, Doc Hudson, Sheriff, and Cactus Lightning McQueen, which you can't really see too well. There he is. So I bought this three pack because this is, to this day, the only way you can get Dirt Track, Doc Hudson. It's a very weird release. It's only been released in this 2008 three pack. And it's such a simple release, too. It's literally just Doc Hudson, but with the dirt track wheels. It's from that scene in the movie where McQueen discovers Doc racing at Willie's Butte. So it, it's a kind of like a simple variation, but, you know, it is something that did appear in the movie. I just wish I didn't need to get two duplicates to obtain him. Yeah, this also came from Full Wheel Drive 7, along with something else you will see. A little later. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna lift this up. There we go. And here is. Oh my! I'm not gonna be able to just pull them out. Excuse the blister crunching there. All right, so here's Cactus McQueen, which I already have, so I'm not too thrilled about this, but. It's a fun McQueen variant. Very cool. There's him. An extra sheriff with like paint blotches on him. What? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's like dried paint blotches. Wow. Maybe that happens with the older releases. That's that's interesting. Um Looks like Dirt Track Doc Hudson is okay, which is great because he's he's the one I bought this pack for. Yeah, like I said, it is just identical to like your normal Doc Hudson's, but instead of the um, white street rims, he's just got the red Dirt Track rims. Very simple, but nice to finally have that in my collection. I remember back in like like years ago. Um, looking up just pictures of cars diecast for like the first time and seeing that dock which i had like no idea even existed because back then i didn't have internet in my house so um i was looking up that stuff at like at school <laughs> um and my only like knowledge of what was out was what was in the diecast encyclopedia or what i found in stores or like the occasional toy show that i went to otherwise i had no idea what had been made um, so seeing that dog for the first time, which was not um, in the diecast encyclopedia, it was it was crazy, it was mind blowing. So that one that one is kind of a fun one for me. All right, now we're gonna get into a bunch of cars tunes from eBay. Um, starting off um, with Fansan. So most of these are from Tokyo Mater. I think there's one from Mater the Greater which showed up also just after Mega Hall Volume 2. Alright. So, here is... Wow. Cars back in the day were packaged super tightly. That's crazy. 
But there's Van Sin. He's a repaint of Van himself, obviously. <laughs> um, but with a great expression. That's absolutely perfect. I love that. A nice green color. They didn't give him a license plate, though, which is super weird. I don't think that's an error, though. I think a lot of cars with this model have that problem. But yeah, love that one. Great expression. All right, next up from Tokyo Mater, we have Kyandi. Or I think maybe it is pronounced Candy. I'm not sure. I think it's Kyandi, though. Huge fan of this car as well, so had to get this one. But yeah, what I've been, uh, oh, forgot all about that. <laughs> what I've been trying to do this year, since they're re-releasing tunes in the main line, I thought it'd be time to actually like go back and fill in the gaps in my tunes collection, because I don't have a lot of tunes at all. Um, so I decided to just go online and buy a ton of them from Tokyo Mater, which is my favorite short. So here she is, the uh, kind of big, unrealistic eyes are kind of charming on this, I won't lie. I love the bright, vibrant colors, pattern on the spoiler, the rims. Definitely, definitely an underrated release in my opinion. I am 100% a fan of this car. Love it. All right, uh, next up. Tokyo Mater again, Kai Risu, or Ka Risu, my bad. All of these ones are the original 2010 releases. Wow, Kai is, is pretty, or Ka, is pretty big. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to be this wide. Wow, love that expression too, that's very dynamic. That's nice. I love the kind of paint finish on him and the, the silver sides with like the dark olive green on top. It's kind of a nice contrast. I love the Tokyo Mater design so much. I love like the fun rims and the exotic body designs. It's, it's really great. Tokyo Mater, absolutely the best tall tail, hands down. All right, a uh, quick break from Tokyo Mater with the, the 2015 Bucky Brake Dust um, from Mater the Greater, which was a Walmart exclusive. Um, so yeah, one of the few new tunes releases we actually got after 2010. Um, that were, Sorry, after 2011, because 2011 had all the Take Flight releases. So after that, they didn't really do too many new tunes releases, at least not on the same level as like before Cars 2. Um, the Bucky Brake Dust was one of the new ones. He's a repaint of Big Fan, as they call him, um, who is basically just a red version of this character. Same model, appears in the same short. <laughs> he's just, um, he's just red. <laughs> and he doesn't have a name, because they just call him Big Fan, whereas here, this guy is named Bucky Brake Dust. So, it's like a generic car model, very similar to, I believe, it's um, Johnny or Jamie. I think it's Johnny that I, um, from the LA Speedway and Cars 1. So, it's like a generic car model, but they gave him a Mater the Greater flag and Mater Buck Teeth to show that he is a fan. So, that's that's kind of a cute detail. He also doesn't have a license plate on him. That's, that's weird. Cayenne D didn't have one either, and... Uh, Neither does Karisu, wow. None of these Toons cars have license plates for some reason. Very strange. Uh, and then last but not least, one more Toons release. We have Manji, also from Tokyo Mater. This car has a great design, but what I think is interesting is they put them in the package like this, right? So they put like the boring side outwards, but he has this awesome design on the inside that like you can't even see. Such a weird choice. Because if I was in a store, this is the side of the car that would make me want to buy him. But either way, also pretty big, just like Ka. Again, fantastic expression, wow. Really impressed. Absolutely adore this design, this is incredible. 
hopefully they actually re-release some of these cards next year um, in the main line because these are just great designs. I think everyone should be able to kind of add these to their collection. I love the giant spoiler that's even textured as well. Fantastic. All right. Um, we have two Christmas releases from 2021. Um, I think I am going to do full videos on these, but I am still going to open them up today. Up first is Wintertime Cruisers Ramon, because that is the name of the 2021 Christmas cards. They called them Wintertime Cruisers. Uh, I'm going to open this off screen, though, just because I want to try and save this card back. So it's very, it's very beautiful packaging. And what do you know? Pretty much a perfect cut there. That's awesome. So here we go. I'm so glad they did a new Ramon in 2021. They could have just re-released the Christmas Cruiser Ramon, I believe is what the original was called. Um, oh no, actually I remember now. They did Christmas Cruiser Ramon in the main line that year. And then they did this new one in the winter series, which was just awesome. They made him blue and gave him this awesome snowflake design. So really happy about that. But yeah, like I said, I think I am going to do a full review on this car. Even though it's old, it's a couple years old now, I think the Christmas stuff is kind of just always relevant. But yeah, beautiful design. Love that one a lot. And then, the one I'm actually really excited about is the Snowmobile, by far. <laughs> um, for those who don't know, the Snowmobile was planned to be released um, in like 2009, 2010, I believe. But it was cancelled. And they actually decided to uncancel it in 2021, which kind of blew everyone away. Because, I don't, like, I don't think anyone was expecting them to actually ever release this. But they did. And you have no idea how absolutely ecstatic we as collectors were. Because it'll go perfectly with the Santa car that they did end up releasing many years ago. So here he is. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I love that we have like a car reindeer. And it even rolls. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's how that's how it rolls. Love it. <laughs> this is definitely like one of the best releases from 2021 by far. Like, like it's not even close. Everything else that year was good, but this, this is like S tier. This is probably the best release of the year. So great. <laughs> All right. Put him off to the side. And one more item to open up today. This is... I'm going to actually move the Christmas cards. I'm not going to have room. This is a Racerama 3-pack. Uh, with Chick Fan Mia, Chick Fan Tia, and Chick Hicks. So I can't fit it all really in the area. But here's some of the other packs they did back then. So I bought this. Um, this was also from Full Wheel Drive 7, so thank you again to him for this. And um, what else? The Mini Racers. And there was one other thing. Oh, the Dirt Track Dock Pack. So thank you, Full Wheel Drive 7, for all this. Um, but yeah, I wanted this because I don't have Chick Fan Me and Tia. And the Me and Tia variants are things that have been on my list of wants for years now. So I was super excited to get them. Yeah, here they are in this awesome little display tray. Love this. Might be able to use this for a thumbnail or something. This could be really cool. But yeah, I'm going to try and take these out of their package. I'm probably going to have to cut, though, in order to show it because I think I'm going to need scissors. So I will be right back with these guys out of their package. All right, here is Chick Fan Mia. Um, this stupid string will not come off at all. Um, I don't understand why, because I got all the other ones off perfectly. And I don't think I'm doing anything differently on this one, so that's going to need scissors. Yeah, Chick Fan Mia. Um, I love the um, choice to give them the like little chick hat. I think that's super cool. 
as well as obviously switching out all of the 95 and rusty stuff with cute little chick designs. Very, very cool. Shows that they weren't really loyal to McQueen though, if they were just so easily able to join Team Chick. But I do wonder how Chick convinced me and Tia to, to switch sides there. Because me and Tia were obviously McQueen fans while Chick was still racing. So I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Alright, gonna try and get Tia out here. See, the problem is these silly strings. You're supposed to be able to just like pull them around the tires, around the axle, and for some reason, it just sometimes doesn't work. And that almost worked. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to grab scissors to cut these. All right, I actually managed to get the strings off. So, here they both are, side by side. They are virtually identical. The expressions aren't even slightly different from one another, which is true to how the other Mia and Tia variants are. The only way to tell them apart, of course, is their license plate. But I'm excited. I'm, I'm really glad that I have two more Chick Hicks, or not Chick Hicks, but two more Mia and Tia variations in my collection. I think that's super fun. And all that's really left is the extra Chick Hicks, but this looks like a very interesting contraption they've got on it here. Let's see if I can open it. It's like, not it's not metal wire, but it's like a hard wire. It's very interesting. Kind of like, like this kind of, kind of wire. I don't know why they decided Chick Hicks needed all this extra material for him. Very unusual. And, ta-da! I got him. <laughs> um, there's like a really long silence there, but I did get him out. And here's the weird wire. I don't know what that's about. And here is the lovely background. So, there we go. That actually does conclude this installment of the Mega Hall. Um, I know this was a bit of a shorter one. We haven't even really hit 30 minutes yet. There we go. There's a nice little green team display there. Um, yeah, we haven't even hit the 30 minute mark yet, but with so much stuff that I've been getting lately, I kind of just want to like speed through these so these aren't like super long videos because I think that's what you guys prefer anyway is ones that aren't um, ridiculously long. So that way um, you can actually watch to the end of the video because, you know, viewer retention is important. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments what your favorite item that I showed today is. I honestly have no idea. I'm excited to review these 2023 cars, but at the same time, this Tokyo Mater stuff is just absolutely incredible. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, which will likely be uh, Mato. I'll be reviewing Mato first from these 2023 um, cars. I don't actually know when this Mega Hall is going up, by the way. I think all these reviews are going to go up first and then the Mega Hall. So this might not come out for like another couple months, <laughs> but you'll see this video eventually. Don't worry. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.